Hi, I'm Wade Carvita from Custom Fire. Behind me is a new tender we just completed for Elko New Market in Minnesota. This truck is built on a Freightliner M2 112 chassis with a 450 horse Cummins engine. It features a 3,000 gallon wet side poly tank and a 500 gallon per minute PTO driven Watrous fire pump. The pump panel is installed in the driver's side compartment. Here we have a stainless steel panel with all the requisite push pull handles, gauges, and pressure governor. As I said earlier, this is a 500 gallon per minute PTO fire pump. It just makes for a really nice, tidy installation. Never have a concern for an extra engine on board. Just a rocker switch engages it in the cab. We also program these trucks so that they will. Uh, disengage at a certain speed and then re-engage at a safe speed. That allows the operator to move ahead with the truck, you know, pump and roll activities, reposition the apparatus without concern about disengaging the pump or overspeeding it or overheating it. Now you can see here that this truck is bedazzled with like the murdered outlook. We rhino lined the fenderettes, the cab steps, the bumper, the rear tailboard. We have heavy black poly rub rails, which stick out a bit further than the typical rub rail. And then it has the new Alcoa Dura Black uh, painted aluminum wheels. It's a pretty menacing look overall and really cool looking. Up above we have a couple hard hose, and then on the officer side we have a powered folding tank rack. This customer had a specific look in mind for this truck, and uh, they usually do. In this case, it's a very clean design. We have a swivel dump at the back, couple folding steps and then a nice uh, layout for the lighting. We have a traffic bar up above with a camera eye below that, a couple warning lights and a couple single panel Pioneer scene lights up above. And down below we have the warning lighting and the direct tank fill. This direct tank fill is a five inch Stortz. It's a fireman's friend style so it's like a plunger valve that pushes into the tank. There's no manual control for that valve. Just hit it with pressurized water and it will open. Now we're on the officer side of this truck and you know pretty basic layout. We have a PS tank level light down low on the side of the body. We have a couple hundred feet of booster hose here and then a powered Zymatic folding tank rack. With the box flipped over you can see the folding tank is exposed. We're carrying a 3500 gallon folding tank because we have a 3000 gallon booster tank. This truck is a simple and effective water hauling tool. And at Custom Fire, we offer numerous designs of tenders and pumper tenders. This one is a wet side, 3,000 gallon, fairly short overall length at 30 feet, uh, not too tall at under 10 feet, and it has all the necessities. It has a PTO fire pump, a swivel dump chute, a booster reel, and a drop down folding tank, and a couple hard hoses with excellent lighting all the way around. Now we can build a truck like this up to 2,500 gallons on a single axle, and we've done up to 4,000 gallons and could probably do more based on what the chassis capabilities are. But we do offer a broad range. We offer dry sides, we offer fully compartmented styles, numerous ways to carry your folding tank, hose. Uh, this truck does not have a hose bed up above, but that is something that people typically uh, want on their tenders. And then we also offer a variety of chassis uh, depending on their availability, which is, you know, difficult for everybody these days. But this one's on a Freightliner. We do offer International, Kenworth, and Peterbilt uh, on a frequent basis. I'm Wade Curvita from Custom Fire. We'd love to hear from you if you're in the market for a new pumper, rescue, tender, or pumper tender. And uh, you can find us at customfire.com. Thanks for watching. Just good? All right. You can see here in the driver's side front compartment, it's the only compartment on the driver's side. You can see here in the driver's side compartment, we installed the fire pump panel as well as uh, other stuff. All right. I got a pebble in my shoe and it like, I cannot think about anything else. You know how you like move your shoe until it like goes to a spot where you're, it doesn't yeah. sit under your foot? <laughs> it feels like it's getting bigger every time it moves. You can splice in, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I can do that over. Remember when you said you're so good at these now there's no more bloopers? Yeah.